Now the first one in the list is what I call dynamic and static composition. And let me explain what they are. Starting with static composition, static composition usually means um, when the image have too much symmetry to it. So for example, if I do something really quick, Now, when you look at um, this image, nothing wrong with it. I'm just trying to explain what I mean by static composition. Uh, from left and right, it's exactly the same. It's a symmetry design. Um, now, that makes it static. It's a little more predictable. And when you look at the size of the head, and the size of the body, it's about the same. So 50% here, 50% here. So again, makes it entire design a little bit static. Um, this is static composition approach is very good for um, organizing items or infographics, um, organizing different uh, types of information and make something very stable and make something really easy to look at. Um, a lot of times in illustration, the dynamic composition is um, a little more encouraged. So if I use the similar design but change that into dynamic composition, uh, you just have to break away from the symmetry format. So for example, instead of um, Try to do the exact same or very similar design. Uh, but now the face is not symmetric anymore. Left and right, size is different, there's a different angle. And same, same for the body. Uh, now, when you look at it, on the given surface, left and right is completely different. So uh, you're stemming from the symmetry. Now the head is a lot bigger. Well, maybe this is more like a 70, 30. Uh, so top and bottom is not um, static anymore. So if you break away from the 50-50 uh, size ratio and the symmetry, then you can create a dynamic composition. So the advantage of dynamic composition is that you can show a lot of movement, you can show a lot of depth. That's the advantage of dynamic composition. And the advantage of static composition is that it will be less movement. It will be a really good tool to organize information. So in my opinion, most of the cases, if we go for the dynamic composition, it will be more successful illustration. Mm -hmm.